Hi, I'm Robert Rosborough, and I'm here with the girls soccer goalie of the year, Maddie Zuberer from Kirtland. Maddie, congratulations and thanks for coming. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Nope. Uh, definitely a nice surprise to the ending of the season. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, you you earned it. I mean, I was looking up your stats, and uh, you know, you it looked like you only gave up. 10 goals throughout the entire regular season and one throughout the playoffs. And that's a fantastic run as you guys made it to the state semifinals. Um, when you look back on this season, you know, what are some of your favorite memories that you're going to, uh, you know, tell your, your kids and grandchildren about one day? Uh, one of my favorite memories is definitely playing in the state final four game. Uh, it was the first time in history that we have ever made it that far as a program. It was the first time in history we even got out of the district finals. So. That whole run uh, postseason was just amazing, and it was a really great experience to have with my teammates and the 10 seniors, including myself, on that team. Uh, probably my favorite part was playing with my cousin, you know, seven extra games. Okay. Your cousin name is? is? Uh, Katie Strauss. Okay. All right, great. When you're playing with a family member like that, uh, what is, uh, how does that change the dynamic when you're at like a practice or just in a game? Is, is there kind of like, is there a different relationship there when you're on the field or anything like that than with other players? Uh, there's definitely a different relationship during practice. Like, you know, you goof off and you have your inside jokes. And I've grown up with her for the past 10 years. I've lived in Kirtland. And on the field, it's, I've played with her, you know, growing up through elementary school and middle school and we've been on travel teams together, and so it's kind of like I already know her whole like dynamic movement, and I've been able to watch her develop as a player and know, like, okay, if I hit this here, she'll be able to get it. Uh, and just knowing her abilities is a lot easier when I've grown up with her throughout these years. Now, going back to growing up and playing soccer, what other sports did you play, and at what point did you realize that soccer was the sport that you really wanted to concentrate on? I grew up playing soccer, and then when I lived out in Utah, I did some Taekwondo. Okay. And then I started playing softball and I played basketball. And uh, during middle school, I ran track and field. And I also played uh, middle school volleyball. And then I ended up doing travel soccer. Okay. And uh, lots of different sports. And I think I kind of knew that soccer was my main sport that I wanted to continue with. Uh, definitely when it started like seventh grade where people were like oh are you gonna play middle school soccer and I'd heard from like other girls like it's not that great competition so I decided to go look at travel and some club teams and I just fell in love with the game and I grew up playing it and that was really the really consistent sport that I had uh, throughout my younger years like I picked up basketball and I picked up volleyball but it wasn't there the whole time Okay. Now looking ahead to the future, you're going to Louisiana Tech to play soccer. What is it that appealed to you about that campus and about the program that they have there? Uh, the first thing I noticed was definitely their campus, and it's a gorgeous campus. And one side of it's kind of the academic buildings, and then you go over like this little bridge, and it's over a train track, and then there's like all the residences. And I really found that just, it was beautiful. And then the landscape and the weather, I mean, I'll have to get used to the humid and hot weather, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And then their engineering program is amazing. And so I was really looking for, you know, a good engineering program. And then for a school that has a great soccer program as well. Mm -hmm. And just trying to find that balance and it really fit well. I like the coach, I like the players. I like the school that I would, you know, the education I would be getting. And so it just all blended together for a great fit. Okay. What kind of engineering do you want to do? Biomedical. Biomedical? Mm -hmm. All right, great. <laughs> all right. That was uh, Maddie Zuber with uh, Kirtland Girls Soccer. She is our 2015 Girls Soccer Player of the Year.